<laughs> ECB board member Eve Mersch has told CNBC in an exclusive interview the central bank still has room for manoeuvre in the face of global headwinds and weak data from the Eurozone. Mersch's remarks come ahead of Mario Draghi's speech before the ECB watchers today. That's the name of the event. His last address at the annual conference before his term as president ends later this year. Annetta joins us from Frankfurt. And Annetta, with the focus very much now on on slowing growth data coming in from all around the world. Um, to what extent do you think we will hear the ECB president address this head on? Well, I guess he will repeat his dovish message we got from him uh, at the last governing council meeting or the press conference, where he surprisingly went ahead of the curve. At least that is what commentators made out of that surprising announcement of a new round of Teltros, also the dovish message about the economic outlook. So the interesting part is uh, how the Teltros will be actually, um, or the terms of the Teltros we don't know yet, and also what my thinks whether the economy uh, has actually worsened uh, since he last appeared during the press conference. I guess this mix will be most interesting during the course of this, uh, this uh, conference today, the ECB Watchers Conference. But yesterday I caught up with Yves Mersch exclusively at the ECB's headquarters here in Frankfurt. And I also asked him whether there is at least a thinking of changing the deposit rate, because clearly the deposit rate it's a very big burden on the banks in the Eurozone, given their low profitability. That would perhaps also help the economy. So take a listen of what he said when I asked him about the deposit rate. First of all, as I explained, uh, we have just put in place some measures. And some of these measures only at the level of principle. Uh, we reserve to announce the exact calibration to give an answer to future developments. So uh, I think it's a little bit premature right now to ask us already what would be your second, third and fourth step. We are very much focused on having our next step correct and uh, to implement what we have said that we would do. Then uh, I hope that you give us at least credit that so far we have been measure uh, we have been able to come up with uh, the necessary measures within our mandate. And I insist on that. Within our mandate, uh, we are not at, uh, with the wall against the wall. We still have room. Um, of course, you have room left um, on specific, uh, specific tools. But um, if you look kind of to the rate guidance, for example, um, there was also um, a lot of rumors that um, the ECB could have um, be even bolder with the rate guidance, not only saying that the rates stick to the current level, at least at, to the end of this year, but because the market is already anticipating at least one year longer. So who was right here, the market, the ECB, and why, why are you not in sync? Well, you could also make a case between uh, the analysts in the banks uh, and those who operate in the treasury in the banks, which you also not seem to be exactly on the same page uh, as to their expectations. And uh, if you will read uh, our accounts, which will be published soon, you will also see that uh, we have had uh, what is quite normal in collegial decision-making, a discussion. Uh, some uh, were of the opinion uh, that uh, there was no need maybe to change our forward guidance. Some wanted to change it a little bit further. But don't forget that it is not one instrument alone that determines the ECB's policy stance, but it's a package. And in the end, uh, what has been announced uh, is satisfaction at unanimity with the package that it is addressing the increased uh, risks that we have been seeing evolving, the increased uncertainty, and uh, at least until we have a new assessment, uh, we are convinced that this is the right answer. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.